Is it an offside? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. It's a goal! Welcome to The VAR Show on Active FM. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another exciting week of the V. Our show. It's another week right here in VAR in quarantine. They are locked down. For those who don't really know, or I don't know how you don't know what's happening in the world right now, but currently we are in lockdown, but that doesn't mean that we are stopping to take awesome content here on Active FM. It's all about the people right now, letting them know what's happening around them in the sporting world, even though we are on lockdown. Nothing is going to stop us from giving them great content. We're gonna go listen to some hot jams right now, then we're gonna come back with the topic of the day. If you guys have any questions, if you guys, if you guys want to just, you know, talk to us or like what we do, you guys can follow us on all our social media platforms. You guys can follow us on Instagram at Active FM 777. You guys can follow us on Facebook forward slash Active FM. You guys can follow us on Twitter at Active FM. You guys know what? You know what? Radio has never been better. Hey, this is Naomi from Reactive, where music isn't just a band, isn't just a single person, but it's a movement, it's a lifestyle. You're listening to Active FM, radio has never been better.
You know, Christ music is hot music, man. Indeed, Christ music is hot music. Tell me one place you listen to better music than than an active FM. One place. Um, 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 ah, uh, so hard to think of a place other than right here at Active FM because there is no other place where radio is like Active FM. The only place where radio is on another level. Yes, because radio has never been better. Right there. That explains it all. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So let's go to the topic at hand. This is buzzing everywhere in a time where there is no football. There is still major football news just flying around, just going every single place. And the first one that we're going to, the one we're going to talk about is going to be the Newcastle United takeover. Do you know how much they're planning to do this takeover with? 300 million sure, sure, euros, sure. man. 300 million. They are buying Newcastle United for 300 yeah. million euros. Wow. But do you think that's that that's worth Newcastle? Do you think Newcastle is des- deserves um, to be bought at that amount? Is that the worth of Newcastle. I think because Newcastle is a mid-table team, so yes, you are looking for roughly around 100 to 300 million for the team. You know, it's they're not they're not a top-level team. You know, they're not a top six yeah. team like your Barcelona, like your Barcelona. Sorry, like your Manchester United, like your Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, or Liverpool. Yeah. So. They're not going to gross around your billions or your 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 900, 800 millions. So yes, I think it is a fair price that they're paying. Um, the same group okay. that tri- that bought this actually tried to buy Manchester United and failed because yeah. it was way 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 more than yeah. than than just three hundred million. And plus the 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 two the two the the American brothers that own it didn't want to sell. So I guess now they opted to go for Newcastle. And you know, with this whole takeover, there's a lot of potential that is happening with the with the entire club, eh? They're planning to take this club into new levels. Okay. I just thought 300 million euros was just, yeah, too much for, 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 for Newcastle. But, yep, guess it's fair enough. The club makes a good amount of money in, in yeah. like, day-to-day from from just uh, appearing in Champions League. Newcastle is a very soccer-based uh, city in England, so they, their yeah. stadium is normally always packed, you know? They normally always yeah, pack in that stadium. The Saudis! Go Saudis! <laughs> so the yeah. people who are buying into Newcastle is, firstly, the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, which is headed up by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam. So he's the yeah. person who's heading up. He's going to be getting 80% of the club stake. The remaining 20% is going to be split with, I hope I get these names right, Amanda Stevley's CPC, I mean C, PCP Capital Partners, which is going to be getting 10%, and the British businessman Ruben Brothers, who are going to be getting and the remaining 10%. So three major companies are buying into Newcastle. What do you think it's going to do for Newcastle? Uh, I think it's gonna bring in a, a new, new flavor, a different Newcastle, you know, and that's what that, that's what we need in soccer, and I think in everything in life, 
that's what we we need we need something new all the time you know and um you know with something new um it's it's hard for other teams to 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 predict how 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 the team is gonna be and and you know um with yeah we're always looking for new things except except for the liverpool thing you know liverpool proved this thing to not really be so true because you know they 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 made it with well, with a a the same squad, you know what I mean? Same formation, same squad, and yeah, we know what happened. Yeah, now they they got they almost became undefeated. <laughs> yep, yep, that's what happened. But I think for Newcastle, something new is needed, and if we're gonna have three heads, you know, um, that's that's obviously gonna bring in a new thing of Newcastle. So now with this new investors coming in, obviously more money is coming into the club, right? So now, do you think that they're going to expand the St. Saint, the Saint James Park, which is the stadium, which currently holds 52,000 people? So do you think they should expand it to, 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 to take at least a bit more people so it can compete with the, with the, with the, with the lights of, of, of the Emirates or, or Old Trafford? Um, I think I think they should they should wait. It shouldn't be a hasty decision. I think they should wait to see how the season goes. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they, I know it, it will bring them more money, but you don't wanna be in the situation that Tottenham was in, where they spent so much money on on their new stadium, and now they can't really bring in more more players into the club and now the club was suffering for years imagine six years no trophy you see um that's and and that's that's what that's basically what i'm saying and what's even worse on top of that is what if the club does bad and then that can cause the club to lose fans and then you know with a lot of money coming into the club there will always be transfer rumors so are you ready for these transfer rumors man ha ha is that is that, is that where this is going yeah. <laughs> okay, let's. Let, um, I'm ready. First, I'm gonna start with the with three possible coaches, right? So how we're going to do this is that we're gonna speak first, then we're gonna rate the possibility of that transfer, right? Okay. okay. So the first, the first out of three coaches that that are rumored to be linked with the Newcastle team after the takeover is Rafa Benitez, the ex Newcastle coach. Any thoughts on that? Um, I think there's a um, five five percent um, of of him coming back, you know, because of of the experience that he has with the club itself, and you know, way way, I could say he also gave it a bit of 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 a status, you know, um, looking at the people that he had in his team. Um, the players that he brought in, you know what I mean? Um, Newcastle did do different and a bit better than what it was doing. So, um, I, I think I think they're gonna take him. And um, but if obviously if I had to sign him, I, I wouldn't because that would clash with what I said that a, a new Newcastle is needed. You know, I'm bringing in someone. That is that has been there. There's a uh, the, you might face a thing of him wanting to fix his mistakes. You know what I mean. And you wouldn't want that to happen. You know what I mean. You'd want a Newcastle to come in and and bring in a new Newcastle so that new things and new hopes so that we can have, I think, new hopes for for the new for the new for for the new coach. Okay. So out of ten, what do you rate it? Out of ten, like five. Yeah, five, five, like I said, yeah. On my side, I don't see it happening yeah. at all. Okay. I don't see them bringing back uh, Rafa Benitez. He left due to a dispute with um, with Ashley. Remember the one of the, the person who took 10%? Yeah. So he he had a dispute over, over transfers. And now, yes, the budget is bigger, but I don't really see him now going back just because now the Saudis are there. And, and now there's a bigger transfer budget. You know, I don't see them taking him back. It's the same with Tottenham and Pochettino. I don't see, no matter what happens, I don't see Tottenham taking Pochettino back. You know, it's you've moved on, yeah. you've moved on. So I rated a two out of 10. I don't see it happening at all. And now talking about Pochettino, 
The next manager on the list is none other than guess who? Moreno. No, Pochettino. <laughs> so the ex-South American uh, international who coached for Tottenham, right? He left Tottenham yeah. early on in this year, who was replaced by Mourinho, is now linked to be the new Newcastle manager. Any thoughts on that? I think that should definitely happen um, because looking at looking at where he left Tottenham, I think definitely. So you, they would so if they if they had to sack um, uh, Steve Bruce right now, you think definitely they would take in Pochettino? Yes, 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 yes. I think I think that ma- that must happen. <laughs> that must happen if it has to happen. Um, you know, um, lo- looking at lo- like, like I'm saying again, looking at Tottenham where, where, where he left it as a coach and um, and and, and the, the the kind of coach that he is with the coaching style that he has. You know, um, I think I think I think he should. That that should definitely happen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Look, with the with with what was happening in Tottenham and them not really giving him the the budget to buy players, he 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 took he did the impossible and actually took Tottenham to the UEFA Champions League yeah. final. So yeah. as a as a coach, yeah. I I see him being a brilliant coach. And you know, with the budget that could come uh, in Newcastle after the takeover, if the takeover fully happens, with that whole money that comes in plus. Given someone like Pochettino, I can see Newcastle becoming a top six team, if not top three. Out of ten, it's six. It's a six. Uh, what happened to the rest, man? <laughs> <laughs> the rest, I've left it to Newcastle. <laughs> yes. For me, I would give it a seven, just so I can be one number ahead of you. <laughs> okay, so the third one, and for me, who I see as not likely yet, right? I don't know about you. But it is Mussolino Allegri, the ex-Juventus and AC Milan coach, the one who won five Scudettos with Juventus. Yeah, it's 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 cool to 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 to, to say that you know, um, you know, because um, looking at looking at AC Milan, how what what with what, what he did there, you know, it's not it's not the same thing he did with Juventus. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Go five through. five years in a row, he built that team. Five years, he got all the players to work together and he created a monster of a team. Unchallenged for five years. Two UEFA finals. Yeah, yeah, I get the f- the five-year thing, you know what I mean? Um, and, 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 and the finals with the UEFAs, I get that. But, you know... Like like I'm saying, um, the 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 only problem I'm gonna have is that he didn't do that with AC Milan, and on top of that, you know, um, Juventus was like kind of like your Barcelona's, you know what I mean? Um, your Real Madrid, you know what I mean? Um, they just needed someone who's gonna take out their true potential, you know what I mean? Barcelona was always a great team. It just needed a, a coach who's going to take out their potential. So just a quick yeah, question. So for Newcastle, what? who do you think would be a good manager that can show that true potential? Alex Ferguson, with with no doubt. But obviously, sadly enough, he doesn't do coaching no more. Yeah, I think, I think say Alex Ferguson, you know, um, I would say Pep. I would say Pep, but you know, with Pep, you know, I... I I believe he he needs a lot of money to 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 do the great coaching that he does. No, I think Pep can do it with as little money as possible, man. After I watched that show so, last week, <laughs> I tell you, I yeah? think he can do it with like zero to no money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just a quick side note, literally not related to what we're talking about right now. Another thing that <laughs> another thing that caught me about Pep, right? I don't know. I think he should yeah. come manage United, Manchester United, so I can fully like him. You know, him being at City <laughs> just like yeah. So what happened was that there was a time where he won um, that same season where they won with 100 points, right? He won Manager of the Year, uh, the English England's Manager of the Year. Okay. What happened was that Sir Alex Ferguson couldn't actually make it to that award ceremony because he had something in the brain and that he had to go for operation, right? Okay. So then what Pep does is after he wins the award and you know they're asking him questions and stuff at the end and he's like he's dedicating this to, um, he's dedicating this trophy to. 
to 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 Sir Alex Ferguson who couldn't be here. You know, he was then he was like, oh. explaining what type of person Sir Alex Ferguson was, and I was like, you know what, this man is OG. Most people would be saying about their talent. You know, most coaches will have pride in their talent. He Talking never spoke about, about himself. Yeah. He spoke about the players, and he spoke about Sir Alex Ferguson. And then he finished. I was like. This guy is the one. But that's a side note. Going back to Allegri. So out of 10, what do you say? Out of 10, I'd I'd give him a 6. Yeah, I'd give him a 6. Um, looking at what he did at Juventus, which is which is good. But the fact that, you know, he didn't do that for AC Milan. Um, yeah, I'd give him a 6. But, you know... Um, obviously, they're going to look at what he did with Juventus and stuff. And yeah, I think I think that's that, that, that's why he'd have he'd have more um, chances of of being signed than 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 the ex um, Newcastle coach. So with me, I'm going to give it at a five for Allegri. Um, okay. Reason being. He is a very huge name, so for them to get him in the first season of the takeover will be a bit of a challenge, you know. Having five Scudettos, winning previous UEFA's, so he is a he is a big name. So, but then you know, the thing that also makes me say at 50 is Everton were able to sign the co- current coach that they have, who was the ex Real Madrid coach who won a UEFA with Madrid, won a La Liga with Madrid. Yeah. So. I, you can't rule out the, the, the factor, you know, you can't really rule out the factor. But then, yeah. with, yeah, with Allegri, true. I see it as a, as a 50-50, it's all about the offer that they're going to give him. Yeah. So now for the players, the first player is Antoine Griezmann. So what do you think he would do for the team if they would sign him? Do you think he'd make yeah. a big change playing along with long stuff? Playing along with long stuff. Wow, hear that, hear that. I think um, Griezmann is good alone. Um, so I think he, he will he will shine when he goes to a to a club like um, Newcastle. You know, um, and one thing that's gonna make him shine mostly is because he's also a team player. Um, so I think he would he would do great in Newcastle, and. And the reason why I, th- I believe he's having a, a, a problem with with, new, um, with Barcelona is that, you know, you have Messi there and Messi's the captain um, of the team. And as the captain, you know, they play that football Messi, you know, yes, yes, definitely. And and yeah, so, so I think if Griezmann has to go to Newcastle, would we'll shine because... You know he's he's there alone and he, and he has that leadership thing w- within him. Yeah. Uh, so out of ten. So out of ten, I would say him. The chances of him being signed would be fifty, because he's a big name. But at the end of the day, you never know what these players think. And on top of that, you look at the fact that. It's a small club, and you know a person like Griezmann would would wanna still be in your UEFA's, and he'd wanna shine. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it it would be all of that, and you know, it would be a big deal for a person like Griezmann to to go to to a club like Newcastle. For myself, I agree to be a 50-50. Yes, the money is going to be there, but the naming of the club, you know, the club just doesn't have a big name. You know, their name is not big enough for them to have handle a signing like this. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And then the next one, Leon's Musa Dembele, the person that was linked to Manchester United and Chelsea last season. Or beginning of this season, let me say. So he's a brilliant striker at Leon, you know. He's, he's, been yeah. having, he's been on a pretty good form. Unlike the Dembele in Tottenham. Yeah. <laughs> Why the shade? Why the shade? Personally, I think that if they do get, if they um, do buy him, he would play very good in the team, you know, especially if they can get him and a person like Griezmann. Not not to say Griezmann, but a person like Griezmann, you know, a very, a very concentrated striker, you know, a person who knows how to hit the target. You know, when they're on form, you can see there's exceptional talent that's coming out of them. You know, playing both of them in front, 
you're going to have a deadly strike force, man. Uh, one of the deadliest strike forces in the league. But now the, yeah. the question is, do you think that they can buy him? Do you think that Leon will be willing to let him go? Do you think that they're going to actually successfully get Musa Dembele? Um, to buy him, yes, they can buy him. But the question, I think, like you said, the big question would be, would Leon let him go? You know what I mean? Um, especially with what's happening right now with the with with with, 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 with the fact that he's fifty percent of the club right now. So yeah, you know that would be a problem. Yes, because currently with um, I forgot this guy's name now. With the other main striker uh, being injured. Uh, it's now creating a yeah. problem with, with with the attacking force in Leon. Yeah. Like I'm even shocked that they're making it as far as they are inside the UEFA Champions League. Man, like they're just doing yeah. upset after upset after upset. Just imagine, you know what I mean? And the team will be thinking that if they have to let him go, and then they face such a situation again, like like, like this, and they don't have Dembele back, um, or they don't have Dembele with them. You know what I mean? What's gonna happen? You know what I mean? So, so I think I think it'll be it'll be hard for Leon itself to just let him go. You know what I mean? So I think that that, that that's gonna be a challenge. But obviously for Newcastle, that that would be a good thing for Newcastle. So yeah, that would be a tough one. We're gonna go into and listen to some music right now, and then when we come back, we're gonna do our last segment, which is going to have two parts. I'm gonna tell you guys the two most absurd, the definitely, definitely not going to happen transfer rumors going into Newcastle takeover. Then we're gonna close off with with a question, you know, a nice question that I want you guys to answer. But you guys can follow us on all social media platforms. You guys can follow us on Instagram at ActiveFM777. You guys can follow us on Facebook for slash ActiveFM. You guys can ask us questions, you know, ask us questions on Twitter and just say at ActiveFM. You guys can listen to our shows on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Enjoy this wonderful music. <laughs>
stream Reactive's very own The Movement album on Spotify and Apple iTunes. Reactive is a movement. Okay, welcome, welcome back to the V A R you guys are listening to the VR show with your man, your man Calvin, and the one, the only DJ Stones. Pew 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 pew. It's a chopper. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we we're gonna go straight into it. The first, the first absurd transfer rumor person linked with with Newcastle is Gareth Bale. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. no. Imagine in a world sure. where this transfer Gareth actually Bale. happens. Imagine Gareth Bale coming back to the Premier League with Newcastle United. Wow, that 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 would be amazing. That would be amazing because just having him back, but I know in which world would that happen. Which one? Ex- Xbox. <laughs> yeah, that's where it can happen. I don't think that they'll have enough unless they can buy him on a free transfer. But even if they do yeah. buy him on a free transfer, the the wage that they're going to have to be paying for Bale is going to probably be half of the wage they're currently paying most of the players right now. I know there's going to be a okay. huge money injection, but yo, imagine in a world where it actually happens and they actually can pay for him. Imagine him being back in the Premier League how how monstrous he can actually be in that league yeah now now that that that'll be that'll be crazy yeah yeah that'll be crazy because you know um with him with that whole black and white thing you know what i mean coming back of course they can't they can't, they can't remove the black and white man <laughs> you know yeah yeah but i think i i, I think i think that'll be that'll be cool but also too much pressure for him. Yeah, it yeah. would be a lot, you know, yeah. especially after what's happening now in Madrid, he will have something to prove in England, man. And obviously it's going to be that whole thing. You need to stay here. The next major one, and that I see is absurd, is Kylian Mbappe moving from PSG to Newcastle United. Imagine big name Kylian moving all the way to a small yeah. team, Newcastle. No matter how much money yeah. they have, I don't see that happening. I think that's what I was going to say. But I don't I don't think that's going to happen. And even though we can we can go into other things, you know, I think I think he himself is going to have a problem with that team, you know what I mean? Like he he's going to have an attitude problem, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, you, you get you get what I'm saying already. You know what I mean. With a big club, he already has an attitude problem. Now, just imagine with a small team. Yeah, you know, being a big yeah. name team inside that club, uh, it's going you to know. create. A, he already has uh, attitude problems within PSG. Sure, sure, sure. Nah, that would be crazy. No, that 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 would be crazy. Sure, that that they'll they'll just kill it. They'll just kill it. But yeah, Griezmann. But out of out of all of them, I think Griezmann. You know what I mean? I think Griezmann would would be the 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 the, the best signing for the club. You know, because it will it will be good for the club itself. So uh, that's that's basically what I'm saying. That with Griezmann, yeah, it would be great for the club. You know what I mean? But now imagine yeah, no. the front three of Kylian Mbappe, uh, Griezmann, and Gareth Bale. They have to I think I tear up the, the, the Premier League, man. They will be tearing up the Premier League to be very good for the club. Yes, yes, definitely. Garrett Bale would also be a great signing for a club. Yeah, and yeah. 
<laughs> Even with Gareth Bale moving, it would be good for the club and him. I want to pose a question out there for our, all our listeners. I want you guys to send us a picture, you know, just at us on Twitter, at us on Instagram. And I want you guys to, to tell us your starting 11 if you were assigned coach of, of Newcastle and you are given as much money as you want to buy the best team for Newcastle United. You know, I want you guys to, to put your, your, your people there and tell us why you think that team will be the best team. And next week, we're going to be saying those teams out here on the show. And no restrictions. No restrictions. You can even sign Messi in your club. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's give them a restriction. You have 200 million, um, 200 million euros as your transfer budget. Who would you buy? So now they can't okay. they can't go upset and get uh, all black Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> Messi. Yeah. yeah. So you have two hundred million as your as your budget. Who would you buy? And then you have so you'd say the players and how much they how much they cost. So you know we will know if you're cheating then. <laughs> but it's been another fantastic week here at the V A R Show. <laughs> From myself, DJ Stones, and your man Calvin, we are signing out. Peace, signing out, like literally, literally yes, signing with the paper out. And the pen. Yes, yes, with the paper in the <laughs> pen. I'm signing players right now. Yes. I started my <laughs> signing. <laughs> okay, from myself, we will see you guys again next week. We love you all. Enjoy, peace, and enjoy the music we're about to play. Peace. Expose him! Expose him! Active FM. Active, active FM. Don't talk about after storm coming, talk about when the storm come. Every challenge that come my way, I'ma have to eat that up. Just for me to get to the next level, but I'm good. Yeah. Levels. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Whoa. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. You wanna play rough? You wanna play rough? Okay. Been in opposition for a long time. Joy is hitting like a gold mine. I can get through any situation like I'm Noah working with his whole mind. Tribulations at the wrong time. Trials coming through the phone lines. Bill collector switching numbers on me, so I tune my vocals like a showtime. Twelve knocking at my door. What you knocking for? Yeah. Old cases from before. FTA for court. Yeah. My old girl had to bail me out. of all I remember. Riding dirty with no license. Living reckless that December. Even when on the right team. Yeah. I was doing me and my teens. Yeah. Get my head right in my scene. Yeah. I ain't wanna give up my free, yeah. Every problem come my way, ain't always God's doing. Most times there's things I know it's me, can't blame it on my influences. Pushback season, trust me, God ain't promised nothing lightweight. College dropout, 808, and heartbreaks, that's like Kanye. Osa's coming on your head, watch it tie. You got options, either flow, swim or die, yeah. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't try you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Cause I don't associate with losers I just get the number one and pull up in a scooter Call the shots cause beggars can't be chosers Feel like I'm Mr. Clump, I'm getting lost the way I eat I teach lessons, I'm professing So don't bother, boy, don't reach Better quit messing with your son before this lion come unleash I ain't satisfied till I ate so much My mama on some beach Yo, David wonder what a kid been Tell them boys that I'm black now I'm David Robinson, Tim Duncan Can't handle me when I black down I've been taking care of business Kicking tired till I'm finished Got me here and I'm fishing Ride me like I'm doing this. Six dreams that we get it. Hey, hey.
Look, I'ma keep it real. Yeah. Uh, lights don't pay my bills. Yeah. So as long as I got guy on my team, I'ma eat till I'm under six feet. Nah, me? Yeah. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Whoa. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac-Man, 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 P